Ever felt the urge to try yoga but had no idea where to start? You're not alone. Many are drawn to yoga, intrigued by its promise of a harmonious union of mind, body and spirit. And rightly so, for yoga is more than just a physical exercise. It's a practice that cultivates flexibility and strength, yes, but it also fosters a sense of inner peace and stress relief. It's a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement, a path of personal growth. And it's a journey that starts with a single step, or in this case, a single pose. This video is your first step, designed to gently guide you through a simple 20-minute yoga routine. Don't worry about perfection or mastery, those will come with practice. For now, focus on learning, on experiencing, on starting. By the end of this video, you'll have a basic routine you can use to start your yoga journey. Before we dive into the poses, let's get familiar with some basic yoga equipment. First up is the yoga mat. This is your personal space, your island of peace and tranquility. It provides a stable, non-slip surface for your practice. You might think any mat will do, but not all mats are created equal. Some are thicker for extra cushioning, others offer more grip and they come in various sizes. So choose one that suits your comfort and needs. Next we have yoga blocks. These are like your helping hands bringing the floor closer to you. They can be used for support and alignment, especially in poses where you might find it challenging to reach the floor. They're often used in poses like triangle pose or half moon pose. But don't worry, if you don't have blocks at hand, a stack of books or a sturdy box can work just as well. Then there are yoga straps. Imagine them as extensions of your arms. They can help you reach your feet or hands in poses where they seem just a bit too far. Straps can be particularly helpful in poses like seated forward bend or reclining hand to big toe pose. And if you don't have a strap, Now, let's move on to some gentle twists. Stand tall, with your feet hip-width apart. As you inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, gently twist your torso to the right, keeping your hips facing forward. Hold this pose for a few breaths, then return to center. Repeat on the other side. Twists are wonderful for keeping the spine flexible and healthy. And finally, let's do some gentle side bends. Stand tall with your feet hip-width apart. As you inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, gently bend to the right, reaching your right hand down towards your right knee and your left hand up towards the sky. Hold this pose for a few breaths, then return to center. Repeat on the other side. Side bends are great for stretching the sides of your body and improving your posture. Remember, these are just warm-up poses. They are meant to be gentle and easy. Don't push yourself too hard. The goal is to prepare your body and mind for the more challenging poses to come. Also, remember to breathe. In yoga, your breath is your guide. 
It helps you to stay focused and present. So as you do these warm-up poses, pay attention to your breath. Is it fast or slow, shallow or deep? Just notice it without trying to change it. Now that your body is warmed up, you're ready to move into some more challenging poses. But remember, it's not about how advanced the poses are or how perfectly you can do them. Yoga is about connecting with your body and your breath. It's about being present and mindful. So take it easy, be gentle with yourself, and most importantly, enjoy the process. The Sun Salutation, or Surya Namaskar A, is a classic yoga sequence. This timeless practice which originated in India is a beautiful way to pay homage to the life-giving energy of the sun. It's a series of postures performed in a smooth, flowing manner designed to build heat in the body. Let's begin with the first step, Tadasana, or the mountain pose. Stand tall, feet hip-width apart, and distribute your weight evenly. Feel the earth beneath you. Raise your hands to heart center in prayer and take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Now, inhale and reach your arms up towards the sky for Urdhva Hastasana or Upward Salute. Stretch tall, feeling the space you're creating in your body. On your exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana or Standing Forward Bend. If your hands can't quite reach the floor yet, don't worry. You can bend your knees or use a prop such as a block to bring the floor closer to you. From here, we're going to step back into plank pose. This is like the top of a push-up. Feel your body strong and straight like a plank of wood. If this feels too challenging, you can modify by lowering your knees to the ground. Next, we're going to lower down into Chaturanga Dandasana, or four-limb staff pose. This is like a low push-up. If you're new to this pose, you might want to keep your knees on the ground to help support your body. From Chaturanga, push up into Uddhva Mukha Svanasana or Upward Facing Dog. Your hands and the tops of your feet are on the ground and your chest is lifted towards the sky. If this feels too intense, you can modify by doing a Cobra pose instead, where your thighs and hips remain on the floor. Now tuck your toes under and lift your hips up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana or Downward Facing Dog. This should feel like a nice stretch in your back and legs. If your heels don't touch the ground, that's okay. Just focus on pushing your hips up and back. Take a few deep breaths here. Then, on an exhale, step or lightly jump your feet to your hands, coming back into Uttanasana, the standing forward bend. Inhale and come all the way up into Urdhva Hastasana, the upward salute. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Then bring your hands back to heart center in Tadasana, the mountain pose. And there you have it. That's one round of Sun Salutation A. This sequence is typically repeated a few times, so feel free to go through it again at your own pace. Remember, the most important part of any yoga practice is to listen to your body. If a pose doesn't feel right, it's okay to modify it or skip it altogether. Yoga is not about achieving the perfect pose, but about connecting with your body and your breath. As you practice the sun salutation, you might find that it becomes a moving meditation. Each movement is tied to an inhale or an exhale, creating a rhythm that can help quiet the mind and bring focus and clarity. The sun salutation is a great sequence to start your day or to warm up for a more intense workout. It's a wonderful way to wake up the body, get the blood flowing, and set a positive tone for the day ahead. Happy practicing. Standing poses are great for building strength and balance. And now that we've warmed up and saluted the sun, it's time to ground ourselves with some powerful standing poses. Let's start with the mountain pose, also known as Tadasana. This pose may seem simple, but it's foundational in yoga. Picture a mountain, solid, stable, reaching up towards the sky. That's what we're aiming for. Stand with your feet hip-width apart, your arms by your sides. Align your head, neck and spine. Reach your arms up toward the sky, palms facing each other. Feel your feet rooting into the earth and your fingers reaching for the sky. Take a few deep breaths here. Now, let's transition into Warrior One or Virabhadrasana Y. From mountain pose, step your right foot back about three to four feet and turn your right foot to a 45 degree angle. Your left foot should point straight ahead. Bend your left knee until it's directly over your left ankle. Raise your arms overhead, palms facing each other or touching if comfortable. Your gaze can be forward or up towards your hands. Feel the strength in your legs and the stretch in your hips. Breathe deeply. Next up, 
let's move into tree pose or vrikshasana. This pose is a test of balance and focus. From the warrior one, return to mountain pose. Shift your weight onto your right foot, bend your left knee, turning it out to the left, and place the sole of your left foot on your inner right thigh or calf, but not on the knee. Once you're balanced, bring your hands together at your heart or raise them overhead. Find a spot to focus on and breathe. These poses help build strength, flexibility and balance. They're also wonderful for grounding and centering ourselves. As we move through these poses, it's important to remember that yoga isn't about perfecting a pose. It's about being present in your body, noticing how it feels and honoring where you are today. Every day is different and that's okay. That's more than okay, it's perfect. Remember, it's not a competition, it's a journey, it's a practice. Some days you'll feel strong and balanced, other days you might feel wobbly and off kilter. That's all part of the journey, it's all part of the practice, and it's all good. And remember, it's not just about the physical poses, it's about the breath. The breath is the life force. It's the energy that moves through us, that connects us to each moment. So as we move through these poses, remember to breathe. Breathe deeply, breathe evenly, breathe into each pose, breathe into each moment. So let's take a moment to stand in mountain pose. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel your spine lengthening, your crown reaching for the sky. Feel your breath moving in and out. This is yoga. This is the practice. This is the journey. Let's move into warrior one. Feel the strength in your legs. Feel the stretch in your hips. Feel your breath moving in and out. This is yoga. This is the practice. This is the journey. Now let's move into tree pose. Feel your foot on the ground. Feel your body balancing. Feel your breath moving in and out. This is yoga. This is the practice. This is the journey. Remember to breathe deeply and evenly throughout each pose. And remember, this is your practice, this is your journey, and you're doing great. Now let's move on to some seated poses and twists. Now we'll move on to some seated poses and twists. Our first seated posture is the seated forward bend, also known as Paschimottanasana in Sanskrit. Start by sitting down with your legs stretched out in front of you. Breathe in and lift your arms overhead, lengthening your spine. As you exhale, lean forward from your hips, reaching your hands towards your feet. Don't worry if you can't touch your feet just yet. The goal here is to feel a stretch in your hamstrings and your back. This pose is fantastic for calming the mind, relieving stress and stretching the spine and shoulders. Next, we'll transition into seated twist or Ardha Matsyandrasana. From a seated position, bend your right knee and place your right foot on the floor outside your left thigh. Bend your left knee, bringing your left foot towards your right hip. Now sit tall and as you inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky. On your exhale, twist your body to the right, placing your left elbow outside your right knee. Turn your head to look over your right shoulder, feeling the twist in your spine. This pose helps detoxify your body, stimulates your digestive system and increases spinal flexibility. Let's move into the bound angle pose or Baddha Konasana. From a seated position, bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet together, letting your knees fall out to the sides. Hold onto your feet or your ankles and sit tall, keeping your spine straight. This pose opens up the hips, stretches the inner thighs and can be incredibly soothing for the mind. Our last seated pose for today is the seated wide angle pose, Urupavistha Konasana. From a seated position, spread your legs wide apart. Keeping your spine straight, lean forward from your hips, reaching your hands towards the floor. This pose is a great way to stretch the insides and backs of your legs, stimulate your abdominal organs and strengthen your spine. Remember, yoga is not about perfecting a pose, but about connecting with your body and breath. Each pose has its unique benefits and challenges, so listen to your body and move at your own pace. It's perfectly okay if you can't stretch as far or twist as much as you'd like to. With regular practice, you'll see improvements in your flexibility, strength and overall well-being. Remember to breathe deeply and evenly throughout each pose. The breath is a powerful tool that helps us stay present and connected in our practice. It also helps us move deeper into the poses, releasing tension and promoting relaxation. These poses help to stretch your spine and improve your flexibility. 
So, let's continue to enjoy this journey of discovery and transformation together, one breath, one pose at a time. It's time to cool down and end our session with Savasana, or Corpse Pose. As we transition from our active poses, let's shift our focus to the act of cooling down. This is a crucial part of our yoga practice. It's a time to slow down, to allow our bodies to absorb the energy we've just generated, and to give our muscles the well-deserved rest they need. Begin by coming to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in, then exhale slowly. Feel the air fill your lungs, then let it escape, releasing any... and to simply be. Remember, Savasana is an important part of your practice. It allows your body to absorb the benefits of your workout. So take this time to thank yourself for making space for yoga in your day, for taking care of your body, and for the energy you've cultivated. You've done well today. Congratulations on completing your first yoga session. You've taken the first step towards a healthier, more balanced lifestyle. And trust me, it's a step worth celebrating. Yoga may seem challenging at first, but like anything else with practice, it becomes second nature. Don't be disheartened if you didn't get all the poses right, or if you felt a little wobbly. That's completely normal. The beauty of yoga is in its flexibility. It allows you to grow at your own pace. So, keep showing up, keep practicing. Consistency truly is the key to mastering yoga. Feel free to revisit this video as often as you need. Use it as a guide until you feel comfortable with the routine. And remember, every time you step onto your mat, you're making progress. Remember, yoga is a journey, not a destination. Enjoy each moment on your mat and see you next time.